Okay, so welcome to lecture 19. This is the second week in uh, module 3 where we're talking about discrete time Markov chains. And so again, we're continuing on the terminology for um, discrete time Markov chains. Okay, so to remind you of what you've already learned, um, you've learned about um, a state J being accessible from a state I. So in this example, I can go to J, so J is said to be accessible from I. But notice here that um, J, I is not accessible from J because there's no line going from J to I. There's no way to get there. However, here K is accessible from J and J is accessible from K, so they are said to communicate. When they're both accessible to, um, from each other, then they're said to communicate. And states that communicate are said to be in the same class. So this is what we said last time. Okay, so we also talked about these classes. Um, and we sometimes call them communication classes or just classes of the discrete time Markov chain. So in this case, I is by itself, so I is its own single communication class, but here J and K are accessible to each other so they communicate. So J and K are in the same communication class. Okay, so, so now some new terminology. What does it mean to be irreducible? So to have an irreducible Markov chain. So Markov chain, oh, sorry about that. Let's see if I can go back up. Markov chain is said to be irreducible if there's only one communication class. So here in this example, we have I is accessible from J, J is accessible from I. So these two communicate. And we also have that J is accessible from K and K is accessible from J. So these two also communicate, which means that I and K also communicate. So all of these states, I, J, and K, all communicate. So this is called an irreducible Markov chain. And the way that you can actually think about this is that an irreducible Markov chain is one in which you can start from any state and reach any other state in a finite number of steps. OK, so a sufficient condition for being irreducible um, is if there exists some positive number n such that the probability of going from i to j in n steps is greater than zero. So basically there, it means that you can get from i to j in a certain number of steps. So this pij to the n is positive. In this case, um, when you have this, p is said to be regular and then the Markov chain associated with it is said to be a regular Markov chain. So let's look at an example. In this case, look at our P matrix. So our P matrix has, you have two states. So you have state one, you have state two. One goes to one with a probability of 0.3. One goes to two with probability of 0.7. Two goes to one, probability of 0.9. Two goes to two with probability of 0.1 and 0.9, sorry. So here, all of our entries are positive. So P is positive, so it means P is regular. So we have a regular Markov chain and we have an irreducible Markov chain. Okay, so in this example, P is not positive. So we have one zero entry. So P is not completely positive. So then let's look, if we take P squared, notice that now it's positive. So in two steps, we have some positive probability that all states can reach each other in two steps. So here P squared is positive, which means P is regular. So the Markov chain is called a regular Markov chain and is irreducible. Okay, so now let's look at this one. P is 0, 1, 1, 0. So here we have two zero entries. If we take P squared, we have, still have two zero entries, but now we have our identity matrix with the ones that are just flopped. If we take P cubed and P fourth, we actually go back to our original, then go back to our P squared. So what we see is in this example, P to the N is not positive for any N. So P is not regular. But if we look at the transition diagram that's just associated with this, notice we have two states. State one has a probability of one going to go to state two. So here, if you're in one, the only thing that you can do is go to state two. If you're in state two, you have a probability of one of going to state one. So here, two, you go to state one with a probability of one. So one and two communicate. They're the only two states here. So we have an irreducible Markov chain. It's just not regular. So this is an example in which regular, if a, a Markov chain is regular, then it is irreducible. 
but it is not required that it's irregular. So this is one example of where the Markov chain is not regular, but it is irreducible. Okay, so another terminology, close. So if we have a set of states, C, then it's said to be closed if, if you're in C, you can't reach any other state that's outside of C by one step transitions. So it's easier to see this if we look at an example. So here we have four states. We have one, two, four, three, and four. So here one can go to two, two can go to four, four can go to two, three can go to either one or two. So what we have is we have two and four communicate. So they're a class. One doesn't communicate with anybody, so it's by itself. Three doesn't communicate with anybody, so it's by itself. So now notice that this two, four is closed because notice if I'm at two, I can't get to one and I can't get to three. If I'm in four, I can't get to one and I can't get to three. So if I'm inside this set, I can't get outside of it. So that means this two, four is closed. So now if I look at one, three, so let's look at one first. If, I, if I'm in one, if I'm in the set one, then I can go to two. So I can go to something outside of my set so it's not closed. If I'm in three, I can either go to this set or I can go to this class. So I can go to a class that is not here, so it's also not closed. Okay, so let's look at this Markov chain. Um, this Markov chain has n states. So here if I look at state 0, state 0 goes to state 0 with probability of 1. 1 can go to state 0 and it can go to state 2. So it can go to state 0 with the probability of Q and state 2 with the probability of P. 2 can also go to 1 with probability of Q and although it's not listed here, it can go to 3 with the probability of P. It's just not listed in this matrix. If we look at N minus 1, it goes, it goes to the previous one with the probability of Q and goes to N with the probability of P. And then finally for in state N, it stays there and goes to itself with the probability of 1. So this is what's called a random walk with two absorbing barriers. So this can be thought of um, a gambler's problem in which a gambler bets $1 per game and either wins or loses the game. And if he gets to the $0 then he's stuck there forever and he's lost. If he gets to the $0 then he figures he's won and he stops playing. So here you have three classes. You have zero, because it doesn't communicate with anybody. You have n, that doesn't communicate with anybody. And then all these others communicate with each other. So one, two, all the way up to n minus one are all in the same class. So notice here, if I'm in zero, I can't get outside. So zero is closed. If I'm in n, I can't get back outside. So n is also closed. But notice if I'm in this set, I could get to zero or I could get to n. So this set here is not closed. Okay, so let's consider this state in which we have five different states. We want to answer the questions, is the system irreducible or reducible? What are the communication classes of the system and are they closed or open? So here's our matrix. We can think about drawing our transition diagram so we have five different states. We have here state one can go to state one or two, so it goes to state one with probability of one half, it goes to state two with the probability of one half. Here in state three, I mean state two, state two can go to state one with the probability of one third. It can go to two with the probability of two thirds. Okay, so if we're in state three, no, I lost my cursor. If we're in state three here, three can only go to four with the probability of one. Okay, four can go to three or five or itself. So it can go to three with the probability of one fourth. It can go to itself with the probability of one half and to five with the probability of one fourth. 
And then finally we have 5, which can go to 4 with probability of 1. So this is re reducible. It has two different communication classes. So here you have 1 and 2. Then you have 3, 4, 5. Notice if I'm, I'm in the set 1, 2, I cannot get to the set 3, 4, 5. If I'm in 3, 4, 5, I can't get over here to 1, 2, so they're both closed. Okay, so let's consider this. This looks kind of similar to the other one, but notice I don't have any P's or Q's. So is this system reducible or irreducible? What are the communication classes? And is the system, are the communication classes open or closed? So here's our transition diagram. So basically, if I'm in 0, I go to 1 with probability of 1. If I'm in 2, I, if I'm in 2, I go to state 3 with probability of 1, etc., etc. If I'm in n, I go to 0 with probability of 1. So this is what it looks like. So notice here that I can get from any state to any other state within a finite number of steps, so it's irreducible. So I have one communication class, one, two, all the way up to n. And so that ends what we're, the terminology we're going to learn in this um, video. So stay tuned for the next video for more terminology.